when I'm starting a new day With my worries far away I like blue skies and new sights So many words to say It's the right time It's the right time Loops, dots, and lines I feel just fine Let's write the time away it's the right time. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? Have you been practicing the letters we've learned? Are you ready to write some more cursive? I'm ready, Miss Losey. I knew you would be, Bob. But I want to make sure everyone out there is ready with their desk cleared except for paper and a pencil. You should be sitting up straight and have both feet flat on the ground. If I had feet, they would definitely be flat on the ground. And one more thing, it's the right time folder. Keep your folder nearby. That way all your work is in one place so you can see how well you're doing with cursive writing. Okay, I think we're ready now. We're going to continue with three more undercurve letters with the help of Bob, of course. Our first letter today is the letter E found in the words eat and wet. The cursive letter E looks very different from the manuscript E. The E starts and ends with the undercurve stroke. It's a short letter, so it only goes to the midline. At the midline, there's the loop back, and then the slant, so it's a pull down. Then finish with the second undercurve. Let's look at the loop back one more time. At the midline, you loop back to the left, touching the midline, then pull down. So the letter E has the undercurve, loop back, and a second undercurve to the midline. How am I doing, Miss Lucy? You're doing great, Bob. Before you start to write, there are a few things you need to do. Make sure your paper is in the correct position. If you're right-handed, make sure your paper is turned towards the left. And if you're left-handed, your paper is turned to the right. Left-handers, be careful your hand doesn't hook around like this. I'll write the letter E first, and then you and I will write the same letter together. The letter E starts at the baseline with the undercurve up to the midline. Loop back, pull, curve, and finish at the midline. So it's curve, loop back, pull, and curve. All right, pick up your pencil and write with me. Curve, loop back, pull, and curve. How did you do with the loop back? Let's write another one together. Curve, loop back, pull, curve and finish. Do you have a good open loop? Again, one more. Curve, loop back, pull, curve and finish. Now, let's write letter combinations that can be joined with the letter E. How about T-I-E? Tie. I like that word because we already practice writing the letters T and I. All right, write with me. Try and keep up with me. Here's the T and here's the I. The T and the I are pretty similar, except the T is a tall letter and the I is a short letter. So we curve up to the top line, pull, curve to the midline for the I, pull, and loop back the E, pull and curve to finish at the midline. Cross the T and dot the I. Remember, you don't lift your pencil until you've completed writing the entire word. Teachers, it's not too early to remind them to have their writing slanting forward and that their letters are not bunched too close together or too far apart. All right, you can put your pencil down for now. I know there's a lot to think about, but as you practice your writing, it'll get easier and easier. 
Remember how you felt when you first learned manuscript writing? It's the same for cursive writing. So now let's move on to the next letter, L. Bob? The letter L can be found in the words light and tell. Let me tell you something, buddy. You're going to find the L is very similar to the letter E. They have the same strokes, but the letter L is a tall letter. So it goes up to the top line. The letter L starts with an undercurve, then loop back at the top line, and then slant or pull down to the baseline, and finish with another undercurve. I'm starting with a clean sheet of paper, but you can move down to your next writing space. Okay, I'm going to write the letter L first, and then we'll write it together. The letter L starts with the undercurve to the top line. Loop back, pull, curve, and finish at the midline. So it's curve, loop back, pull, curve, and finish. All right, pick up your pencil and write one with me. Curve to the top line, loop back, pull, curve, and finish at the midline. Try to close the loop at the midline. Let's write another one. Curve, loop back, pull, and curve. Does your L touch the top line? Okay, Bob, what combination of letters would you like to use with the letter L? Hmm, how about the letters I, L, L? Does anyone know what the letters I-L-L -L spell? That's right, it spells the word ill, as if you had a cold or were feeling ill. Okay, Bob, I think they get the idea. I'll write the word first, and then you'll practice along with me. So the I starts with the curve. Pull, curve to the top line for the L, Loop back, pull, curve back up to the top line. Loop back, pull, curve, and finish at the midline. Are your L's touching the top line and the baseline? Let's write it one more time. Here's the I, and now the L, and the L again, and finish at the midline. Very good. You may put your pencils down. We're going to continue writing, but first I want to talk about the four S's. When practicing cursive writing, there are four important things you need to remember, and they all begin with an S. Bob, do you want to help me out here? Okay. The four key points you need to remember when writing in cursive are shape, size, space, and slant. The shape of the letter is what makes each letter different, unique. All the different strokes that make up each letter. The size of the letter determines if it's a tall or short letter. Space is the distance between the letters, not too close together and not too far apart. The slant of letters and words are how they slant forward. One of the ways the slant is achieved is by having the paper in the correct position for right-handed or left-handed writers. Teachers, you may want to remind your class about the four S's every now and then as they're writing. It's very important to write in cursive correctly. Okay, let's move on to the next letter. It's the letter B. The letter B can be found in the words bell and web. As you can see, the cursive B has a very different look than the manuscript B. The cursive B has strokes we've already worked on before. It's a tall letter that starts with the undercurve at the baseline, the loop back at the top line, and slant or pull down to the baseline. Undercurve, and then the check stroke, just like in the letter W. 
So the B is a tall letter with a check stroke. Okay, watch me first before picking up your pencil. The letter B starts with the undercurve at the baseline to the top line. Loop back, pull down, curve to the midline, and check stroke. So it's curve, loop back, pull, curve, and check stroke. Okay, right with me. Curve to the top line, loop back, pull, curve, and check stroke at the midline. Let's write another B. Curve, loop back, pull, curve, check stroke. And one more. Curve, loop back, pull, curve, check stroke. Teachers, since the letter B has five strokes, you may want to start out your students practicing on larger space paper so that they can make large sweeping motions. Now let's watch Bob as he joins the letter B with another letter. Here's the B and the letter E apart. When I join them together, what happens? It spells the word B. That's right. Do you see how the E continues on from the check stroke? The E stays up there at the midline and loops back. The same thing happens when the letter W is joined with the E. At the check stroke, continue on with the loop back. Okay, I'll write the word B first and then you'll join me. Here's the letter B. Curve, loop back, pull, Curve, check stroke, and loop back at the midline and finish the E at the midline. Pick up your pencil and write with me. Curve, loop back, pull, curve, check stroke, and the E. Very good. You may put your pencils down. Now let's write the word wet together this time. W-E-T. We begin with the W, and check stroke, E, and T. Very good. Bob, let's review what we've worked on today. First, we practice writing the letters E, L, and B. One short letter and two tall letters. We practice writing the letter B and joining the check stroke with other letters. Also, we discuss the four S's. When writing cursive letters and words, it's always important to remember shape, size, space, and slant. I want you to take your paper and put today's date on it. Then put it inside your folder. Well, that's all for today, boys and girls. Be sure to keep practicing. The more you practice, the better writer you'll be. I promise. May I interrupt, Miss Losey? Certainly, Bob. While working on the letter B, I was kind of hoping to get a chance to see my name written in cursive. Bob! But I haven't shown the boys and girls how to write the uppercase letter B or letter O yet. Oh. Oh, okay. I knew that. I'll wait. Say goodbye, Bob. When I'm starting bye. a new day. Okay, bye-bye. See you next time. Worries far away. I like blue skies and new sights. So many words to say. It's the right time. Right time. It's the right time. Loops, dots, and lines. I feel just fine. Let's write the time away. It's the right time. <laughs>